Hey team, this is day two of the 90 day challenge. And as I pledge to you, I will be uh, reporting every day with what I did from an accomplishment perspective. Let's just first recap what uh, our main focuses are every day. And the daily goals are to weigh in, to hit your calories, hit your water, sleep, your activity and your protein. So I'm gonna use a simple blue and red. Blue means good, red means bad, uh, if I hit it or not. So first of all, weigh in today. Now we'll talk about this a little bit today. I weighed in at 229 pounds. If you remember yesterday, that is down from 232. So that's that's you know pretty good. But people people would say, hey, three pounds in a day. One thing to not do is don't get excited about that. You know, I ate less yesterday, um, less carbohydrate probably, especially. And what a lot of people don't know, and, and uh, if you want, we can get into uh, videos about these types of things, but carbohydrates retain water. Uh, and uh, if you don't eat as many carbs uh, as you did the day before, two or three days before, you start to release some of that water. So a lot of this could be water weight, uh, slightly more dehydrated, things of that nature. It could um, be anything. I mean, it's, it's nice to see, but just don't get super excited because over time as we do this, you're gonna have days where you weigh more. Um, and that's why some people always say, well, I don't wanna weigh myself each day. Well, as you get closer, even if you weighed yourself weekly, as you get closer to your goal, you will have some weeks where you may not lose any weight at all or may gain, depending on what you ate the night before or what you did the night before. So I always say, if you weigh every day, you have a better chance to look at the average over time, look at the trend line down, to show that you're losing weight. Um, that's why I don't, I don't really like the uh, once a week, once a month, every other day. It's just like, you, unless you eat the same thing, do the exact same thing, exact same activity, like unless your, your variables are the exact same every day, which they're not, it's, it's almost impossible to do that. But um, other than eating, you, I guess you could do that if you meal prep really well. But anyway, 229 back for 232, so, and I do weigh in, it's not, I mean, guys, if you don't have a scale at home, get one that you can get them super cheap. Like this is one of the accountability measures. You got to have a scale if you want to do this. So check mark on the way in. As far as calories are concerned, I did go over my calories. So I did 2310 for my calories. And if you guys remember, my calorie range that I wanted to hit was 2000 to 2300. So I did go over a little bit yesterday. So as far as that's concerned, you know what? I don't care if it's only 10 calories. You might say, oh, it's only 10 calories. Well, if you did that for a year, you'd gain a pound. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but so we're gonna say, nope, didn't get my calories. Uh, but it's okay. You know what? It was first day. Um, I miscalculated on something that I was doing. Um, I actually, you know what? I actually ate chips yesterday. Um, you know, and you, you should be able to have chips, but I had more than I should have. I had three servings instead of two, and that's what made me go over. It's actually 160 calories per serving. I honestly thought I was gonna be at 2150, but no. Yep, 2310 based on the amount of chips that I was honest with myself that I ate. Um, chips are good though. Nothing in them though. No calorie, no benefit to them at all, but you can't completely deplete yourself as anything. Remember, the most important thing is hitting your daily calories. If you hit those, I mean, this is the most important thing. This is the most important. Next would be water. Water, I did get 115 ounces yesterday. I, I, I think I got right around, I think it's, I got around one, was it 120? Yeah, 120, I didn't get the full gallon. So I did get 120. So I'm gonna say that was a check. Um, sleep, this is a big one, right? This is the one I said I was going to uh, struggle with. Sleep, I did get seven point, I think like two or two, five hours, seven and a quarter hours roughly. So I did get my sleep last night. Activity, this one I failed at yesterday. Um, activity, I only got 20 minutes. So I did my walking. Um, some stuff happened with the kids that I had to take care of. Um, when you're the one that's taking care of your kids full time, it's, it's just, it's, you know, you, they're the most important thing in your life. So you're going to do that. So I only got 20 minutes, um, which you know, that doesn't make me very happy. I will get back on the train for that today. But um, if you remember, the minimum was supposed to be 30 minutes and I didn't get that. So you know what? This is not good, you know? So I missed my activity yesterday. It doesn't make me happy, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, protein, I did get protein. I got about 200, I believe it's 210 grams. I know I got over 200, 210 grams. And if you remember, my goal is 200. So we're gonna check that as a good thing. 
So let's talk about a few of these things in day two. You guys, you need to scale. Don't get excited about that weight that fluctuates and don't get depressed when the, when the weight fluctuates up. Like depending on when you drink your water, um, how many hours of sleep you got, there's a lot of different things that factor in. Calories though, this, if anything, this is the most important thing. You have to be in line with your calories. I can't miss my calories now. The little secret is you, it's better to look at a weekly average over time um, to make sure you're in your range, you know, so I can make up for this at any day. It's 10 calories, but you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure you hit it every day. You wanna go for that goal every day because if you give yourself slack, at slack, it's like if you give your kids a little bit of rope, they, they take the whole thing, right? If you give them, um, so it's just, we do that with ourselves. If we give ourselves too much slack, in the end, all of a sudden, you, you've, you've blown your goals. You just aren't doing them anymore. Water, I would say that you're ca hitting your calories is the first thing. Sleep, I would say sleep is, is number two. Um, sleep is definitely number two. Water is a close third. So what I would tell you is that um, you definitely need these three, okay? You definitely need these three. Your, uh, hitting your calories is huge, right? Because regardless of what your hormones are doing based on your sleep, like if you're in a calorie deficit or if you're hitting your calories to maintain your weight, uh, that's the most important thing. Like I said, the body's a machine, you gotta do it. But sleep's probably number two, water's, water's a close third. So I would group these as far as just calling it is over this 90 days is kind of the trifecta of what you need to do. So from a calorie perspective, one thing I was gonna to talk to you today about um, is the fact that you need a scale. I need a scale. And I would say, go get yourself a scale. If you're gonna get used to this, if you're gonna truly make this lifestyle change, get a scale, weigh your food. Um, I can tell you, you know, going through the dietitian classes that I've gone through, you know, I'm a bigger dude, so this is more than four ounces, but normally like your palm, your fist is, is four ounces of meat or, or whatever you're doing, your thumb is a, is a tablespoon. And, and you can do those kind of things, but it's not, I just would say get a scale. It's way more accurate. It'll help you get honed in on your calories. And then you can watch how your body changes over time. Like if you go for, if I go for, let's say I go for a week um, at the 2310, and I don't see any weight loss. You know, over time you see some up and downs, but in the end I end out next week at about 232. Well, I probably, you know, need to shoot for more of that 2000 mark instead of the 2310. So this way you can, it's kind of like testing your ads and testing your copy, you know, or testing an image. Like over time, you, you, you test to see where your body goes. But if you don't have a, a scale like this, if you don't have something that's pretty accurate, it's, I mean, to me, just like I said, some of the, yesterday, some of the things I read, uh, we underestimate our calories by at least 20%. Um, that's why you hear a lot of folks say, hey, I don't eat that much, but I still gain weight. It's not true, it's just you're not hitting your calories. You're eating a lot more than you think. Uh, water, build up to this, but water is super important. But you guys, sleep, sleep's a big one. Uh, I believe if, if, if sleep is darn near as important as your calories, but calories are number one. So uh, there you go. I'm sorry I failed myself on two. I'm, I tell you guys I was committed to this, but who knows who's gonna watch it. But I missed on two. I will get the calories today and I definitely will get the activity. I have that planned out and that's the last thing I was gonna talk to you about. You do have to plan uh, for the activity because everything can get in the way of working out and it really sucks to work out. Um, you know, I used to lift a ton and some people love it. I love it for the release, but like originally, um, when you're just starting out, you're sore, you're tired. It's, it takes a little bit to, to get into the gym, but it's always beneficial when you're done. You always feel good. Um, but just remember, this is the first thing that normally goes, uh, especially when you have kids or a very demanding job. This is the first thing that goes. And if you can at least plan out that 30 minutes, like I said, multitask with it, uh, learn something, listen to audiobooks, watch uh, videos. Um, I, I would say that even if you're walking outside, you could probably watch or listen to something as you, as you walk. Um, multitask it if you have to, but get in that activity because although, like I told you, if you're hitting your calories, you should lose, lose weight even without hitting this, but in the same sense, this keeps your mindset right. You're accomplishing something. This gives you something to look forward to. So anyway, that was my day two. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments, ask, you know, and, and uh, uh, as we roll through these 90 days, I'm still gonna come up with something to talk to you guys about every day, but I wanna simplify this. I wanna, I wanna make this less complex for people. Um, so as we move through this, I appreciate your guys' support, appreciate any comments. Let me know what you need, but get your scale, get your scale. If you don't have one yet, get your scale. Not just the food scale, also get your body scale. Get both of those um, 
and the free calorie counting app, which I said that yesterday. Get all three of those and you'll be on your way. Make sure to hit your calories and sleep. And trust me, over these 90 days, you will drop weight. So thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.